welcome to Code Rush Feature of the Week. So, Mark, what have we got this week? This week, I'm going to show you the Code Rush Color Picker. Okay. The Code Rush Color Picker. Um, one of the cool things about the feature is it draws these color swatches here uh, inside the code. So, if I've got a color dot from RGB or a colors dot something reference, in fact, let's change this here so you can see it. Let's come in here to a colors dot, uh, and we'll get like, for example, uh, fine coral. There we go. Uh -huh. So you can see right there, it's giving me that color swatch right underneath the color. And here yeah. I have various shades of teal showing up as well, kind of a tealish forest green. I can click on any one of these, bring up the color picker. Um, I can play with individual RGB values like this. I can change over to CMYK, uh, HLS, or HSB. These are both basically, this is hue, um, saturation and lightness, and this is hue, saturation and brightness. So two different ways of representing uh -huh. um, the colors out there. So I can specify different different uh, hues. And then within that, I can specify uh, different levels of saturation uh, as well as brightness. So saturation is going left to right and brightness is going top to bottom. I uh -huh. can also specify uh, uh, an opacity here if I want to, um, uh, if I want to do that. I can, once I have a particular color that I like, like say I'm right in here and I'm like, oh, I really like this color right here. I can say, let's add it to favorites. It'll show up over here on the favorite side over that. Over there. Yeah. And when I click OK, it'll just make that change. So here you can see it's made the change. We see the color swatch. And um, because of this value right here, we see that there's some lines right in here. In fact, let's uh, zoom in on that uh, code so we can totally, uh, totally see it right there. There you can see what's going on there. It's showing me oh, yeah. that it's semi-transparent inside of that. Uh, uh -huh. So um, let's go, we'll jump back out a little bit so we can see more of the code. And, um, and you can click on any one of these to bring up the color picker. Uh, and make that change, whatever you want it to be, click OK, and it will automatically modify what you're seeing there yeah. in the code. This works in C Sharp, in VB, uh, inside XAML. Uh, I've got, let's see, over here, I've got an interesting XAML where I've got this gradient uh, appearing right here in this code, and this gradient is built up right here of these different stop points, and you can see them um, uh. right there. What's really cool about this is that it makes code that otherwise might be hard to recognize immediately recognizable based on that color alone, right? So here again, sure. I can see color swatches that are happening um, throughout here, throughout the code. You can see there's coral, gray, um, different fills are showing up. So you can immediately yeah. see like, oh, okay, I've got this yellow fill here. That might be this control or this control, right? So it gives you this kind of visual anchoring and grounding that's occurring. Um, and it supports it. It's supported in a number of different file types that are out there. Uh, so if we can, if there's a way for us to understand what the color is, the chances are you've got a color swatch available, and you can just click on that color swatch and uh, then do something with it uh, to yeah. change that color, and it'll modify and update it. Before we saw in the, um, uh, before we saw over here, it was it was creating C sharp code for me. But if I'm over here in the XAML, it'll create XAML for me. So notice here in this saturation uh, piece right here, I've got something that goes from white to blue. And that's very likely what we're looking at right here and here. I can just sure. click on this and say, well, let's switch it down a bit. Let's change it from blue um, to maybe, oh, let's change it to the DevExpress orange. So let's get these both so I can see these both on screen and we can see this down in the bottom here. I want to mm -hmm. actually change this to the DevExpress orange. So I'm going to click that to bring it up. I'm going to click on the uh, little eyedropper icon down here. Oh, uh, good. And I'm going to just hover Very over. Very nice. Notice as I hover, it changes. And I'm going to change it to the DevExpress orange. Click OK. Yep. And there you can see it's updated down here at the I'm bottom as so well. I'm so glad you have that facility because, I mean, much as I love it, I have not got the code for the DevExpress orange memorized. And I was, I was wondering where you were going to find it from. But clearly, you know, the website is a great location. Yeah. Go right to the source. Well, it's and also not hard. The it's fact F that you can go out there is brilliant. Yeah, it's F68336. <laughs> I mean, I think everybody knows that if you're a real DevExpress customer, you really can't, you know, go through your day without thinking F68336. Plus, if you yeah. look at it, it, that looks like an F68336 to me. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So... <laughs> Anyway, just a couple more things on this, just so you can see this. You also have the ability to go through uh, 
named colors. So these are the named colors that are out here. So if you want to work with the named colors, if you hover over any particular color out here, you'll see what it is. You'll see the name of it. There's dark violet. You've got the system colors that are in here as well. So you can grab system.info, uh, info text, those kinds of things, menu highlight. Document colors. So these are all the colors that are in the document. Oh no, that's useful. So that's stunning. Yeah. Because yeah. if you pick the first few colors that you want to use, that you know you want to use early in the document, and now there's like 15, 20 items down lower down, you don't want to scroll back, copy them, come down here and paste them. Switch to the, oh sorry, click the single one you want to change, flip to the document tab, and pick it straight from the list you know you're already using. Right. And then we've got the favorites. We saw that um, already where we can come in and say, let's add this to, to the favorites. And there you can see it right up there in that list. And that's the color picker. That's fantastic, Mark. Well, thank you very much. Uh, we'll see you next week on the Code Rush Feature of the Week. For more Feature of the Week videos, click one of the two video links on screen or select from our playlist. Download and learn more about Code Rush from the DevExpress website. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to receive all the latest Code Rush feature videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.